Hi, I'm Christine from Pack Hacker. In this video, I'm taking a look at the Clipsta Hack Clip, which I've been testing for about a month. If this video is helpful to you, click like and subscribe to keep the content coming. Now let's get to it. So the Clipsta is made with TPE, which feels really soft like silicone, and some nice strong magnets. You can kind of hear them click together here. It's very satisfying. Um, we've got a little bit of branding on here, which is a little hard for me to show you because it's just embossed here. So we got the Clipsta name, the Clipsta logo. Inside you open it up and it says it's been designed and made in Australia and that's about it for branding. But I'm going to show you guys how we use this thing on a bag because it took me a little while to figure out. So you've got your bag handle here and first you put it with the logo side up and you take another end here and you twist it and slide it through the slot and then pull it till it clicks here and then hey presto you got a hat clip. So it works really well for really um, you know sort of big floppy thin but wide brimmed hats like I have here like straw hats. You just sort of clip it on and then you can see it hangs off your bag which is very nice also works well on like felt cowboy style hats and it does work on baseball hats as well except um, if you put it on the brim it could slide off some so I just put it through the the hole in the back of the hat and it holds on to those really really well. Um, so it works really great for things especially these big hats if you're trying to pack them in a pack they're so big they don't really pack well, you know, unless you have a really large suitcase and then you could like, you know, stuff your socks and underwear in there. But otherwise, like we end up just wearing them on the plane to keep them out of our pack because it just doesn't work. Whereas if you have the Clipsta, you just sort of clip it on and then you can carry it with your bag like this and then it'll go really easily up into overhead compartment, under the seat in front of you, stuff like that. We did find some other uses for it. Um, when I was uh, hiking some sand dunes up in Indi down in Indiana, it held really nicely to my ultralight towel so I could keep it out of my pack after it was already damp and sandy. And also, when you go to Disney World and you get those nice, huge Mickey Mouse ears, the Clipsta actually goes really nicely right in the middle of the two ears and it can hold them on. That way if you're a collector like me and you want to get more than one home, you can put one on your bag, one on your head, maybe make your daughter carry one home too and you can get them home. All right, so if you don't already have a Clipsta, the other you know, ways to carry a hat around on a, on a bag are, are an S-beaner or some sort of carabiner type um, accessory here or a dispatch cap snap which is you know another hat clip that we have tested in the past. The dispatch cap snap is probably the closest um, comparison to the Clipsta and it works by you pull this oh, here I had it open but I'll shut it you pull this um, piece of metal up here it opens the clip and then you just put your hat in, push back down, and then it holds on to your hat similarly. It doesn't hold quite as well as the Clipsta does to a thin brim, but it gets the job done. The biggest comparison, the biggest issue here is that um, you see I have this clip to a very thin attachment point. It, it is hard to get on and especially off of really thick handles. So if you don't have thinner attachment points like on the front of your pack, this might be annoying to have on like your shoulder strap. Um, the carabiners just are really hard to use with this type of hat. They work best for hats with holes in the back of them like a ball cap. So there you have it. The Clips to Hat Clip. Thanks for keeping it here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel. We'll see you in the next one.